Meantime, hospital ICUs in Southern California are projected to be over capacity within the next few weeks. The pandemic pushing some healthcare systems across the country to the edge. ABC 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha spoke to a local healthcare worker about her staffing concerns right here in San Diego. As we wait for a vaccine, coronavirus numbers are not getting any better. Not only are hospitals dealing with patients they would typically see during this time of year, COVID-19 patients are adding stress to thinning resources. If these trends continue, we're going to have to take much more dramatic, arguably drastic action. The governor said nearly 75% of ICU beds in Southern California are occupied. It's projected to be at 107% by Christmas Eve. I have a guarded concern about the, the direction that we're moving in. Samantha Gambles Farr is a nurse practitioner and president of the San Diego Black Nurses Association. While she's worried about staffing, she's also worried about the mental and physical health of her colleagues. The staffing issues have always been something that we've dealt with in the ICU because of the critical uh, acuteness of our patients and the burnout of staff. Nurses are picking up a lot more overtime and shifts are being asked to work a lot more than they have in the past. Early in the pandemic, the state created the California Health Corps. It asked for those with healthcare experience to help with the COVID-19 outbreak. Thousands, including retired workers and nursing students, volunteered. But according to the Sacramento Bee, only around 900 people are ready to be deployed. In New York, Governor Andrew Cuomo has already called for extra help. Every hospital has to identify retired nurses and doctors now. We're already experiencing staff shortages. It's not like we can then call on our colleagues, you know, from another state to help us because they're dealing with the exact same issue. Melissa Masiha, ABC 10 News.